whenever you're out walking uh, out in the woods out in the bush the last thing that you want to be concerned with is getting lost so I want to talk a little bit about navigation a little bit about navigation compass and uh, direction and distance now with the distance part there's times that you need to know how far that you're going somewhere or, or how far a place is or, or how far you've moved so and uh, I'm gonna talk today a lot in, 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 in meters because I, I kind of stick to metric system because it's easier to figure in your head and it's what I've always stuck to and it's what just about all the maps and all the countries are wrote on so I just kind of stick to it but with the distance what you want to do is, is, is you want to pace yourself and uh, what you do is you set it up in the yard and I usually you learn your pace on a hundred meters okay and uh, that way what you do then is you learn how many paces that you walk in a hundred meters okay so what you do is take like a piece of string set it up in your yard whenever you've got time and pace it off pace it off four five six times and just pace it off as you walk and like when I pace one off it's uh, for me it's 62 paces per 100 meters I know that so that whenever I've gone 62 paces I know I've traveled 100 meters and uh, so what you do is you pace it off and then you get it and um, 62 meters for me for flat land if there's like a bunch of trees and brush around it's about 66 meters on average and that goes as low as 58 meters 58 paces per meter whenever I'm going uphill so lay it out in your yard and pace it off and get that in your head and 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 what I do is uh, with a pace with my feet what you do is what's considered a pace is you start out with your right foot and then when your left foot passes your right foot that's one okay that'll be one pace and that's what you got to get used to doing and um, what I do to keep up with it some people have beads but what I do is I just pick up little sticks and uh, so that I don't have to keep up with, with my brain it's, it's it's hard enough to keep up with the compass and then keep up with with the number of paces but to keep up with distance what I do is I break off a little piece of a stick and I put it in my pocket for every hundred meters and then when I got ten sticks I put a rock in my pocket because that's a thousand meters and uh, incidentally uh, a thousand meters is one kilometer so I got a rock in my pocket for every kilometer and then one stick for every hundred meters and that's how I keep up with my distance and um, 1.6 kilometers is a mile in case you're using a map that has miles okay now what we're going to do today is we're going to play around with the compass a little bit and uh, we're not going to mess with magnetic declination because that's for if you're dealing with a map and this is the type of uh, this is the type of compass right here that I use for a map and uh, I'm not going to use that today all we're worried with we are going to be dealing with true north magnet I mean magnetic north no excuse me true north is how all maps are drawn with north at the top and you got the north and the south poles and because of the magnetic fields all maps have a declination and you have to set your compass for it but what we're doing today is we're just out learning how to how to move about and how to how to uh, read the compass and uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you some exercises I'm just gonna leave my gear right here and I'm gonna walk off from it and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I do and uh, basically basically I'm gonna show you you should you should be able to use your compass like you would a hair dryer or uh, a microwave oven or um, you know in general anything that 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 um, you just you feel comfortable with you need to get comfortable with your compass and you you know you need to learn to trust it so I'm gonna show you some of the tricks of it and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out right here okay I'm gonna start right up here and I'm gonna I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bring you in close all right first we're going to start out and we're going to talk just a little bit about the compass real quick okay in general the compass a lot of them they have i like the one that's got the mirror right here because it's got it's got this line right here in it and the line you can use as a line up point for these two lines here 
This red inside here is what they call, that is what they call the declination arrow. See the red part right here? Let me get in a little bit closer. All right, the red part right here is the declination arrow. And then you've got these lines up here is called your direction of travel arrow. And this right here line here, and this line right here, you line up with this line, okay? Now, what you do is you turn this thing, not 90 degrees, but you turn this thing, you turn this thing at a, a, a 50 to a 70 degree angle whenever you're aiming it in your direction of travel. And what you want to do is you want to try to line up, if you can see that right there, you want to try to line up those two lines, okay? Now, this thing, the way it starts out is you got north, east, south, west. Now, this is just like clockwise, just like a clock, it's got 360 degrees in a circle. Zero, 90, 180, 270, okay? These are normally called angles, but for some reason on a compass, it's called an azimuth. All right, <clears throat> now, I kind of got you familiar just real quick like with a compass. Whenever you buy a good compass, don't buy a cheap piece of junk. Buy you a good one. It's small. You get a small one, it'll fit in your pocket. Uh, I also like the mirror too because you can also use it as a, a, a signaling device. It can be, it, it can it can save your life, you know. I mean, it's better than saving a, having a, a signal mirror. But anyway, basically what you want to do is, is, is when you're using a compass, you always want to hold it flat, okay? Now... I'm going to show you a little exercise that we're going to do. Now, I'm standing here. I've, I've dropped my gear on the ground right here. Okay, so to well, an exercise, we're going to use we're going to use our paces. Okay, we're going to use our paces. And what we're going to do is my gear bag is right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel northwest. Start out right here. Okay, 315 degrees northwest, okay? We're gonna go southeast down to 135. South, east, 135. Okay, that's very extremely messy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll show you on the next one. Then. I don't, okay, all right, now, you're not supposed to use a compass aimed like this. It's supposed to be flat. So, now, what you do, is this is your direction of travel arrow, okay? And I said I'm, I'm gonna travel 315 degrees northwest. So what I do now is I just simply turn the dial to 315 degrees, okay? Now all I'm gonna do is I lay it down flat, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I move the whole compass, my whole body, until I'm lining up with the north arrow okay now whenever the north arrow is lined up okay and whenever I got that north arrow lined up what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna follow the direction of travel arrow okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my direction of travel arrow and I've got it aimed towards the northwest okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pace this off. Remember what I said. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk 30 paces. I'm going to pick out an object off in the distance. I'm going to walk off, let's say, 31 paces. That's going to be 50 meters for me. Okay. Remember, start out on the right foot. Start out on the right foot. And when then the left foot passes the right foot, then that's going to be one pace. Okay. Then when I get to the end down there, I'll turn around pick out another object, walk back, see how close to my pack I am. 28, 29. All right. I got 29 out of it. Okay, 29 is not too bad. I want 30 meters, but you know what I mean. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I've just traveled 315 degrees northwest. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out another object and travel straight back. Now, the idea behind this is to see if you can set the compass, the dial, and to see if you can pick an object and move straight to it, okay? So, now we gotta go. Let me turn this thing back on right here. 
All right. Let me turn this on macro. Okay. Now, I got my 315 degrees at the top. Okay. Now, if I want to travel back, I'm going to put it on 135 degrees. See how it's down at the bottom right here? Okay. That's also what they call a reverse bearing. I'm going to put it on 135. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this until my red line and my body and everything until this thing right here is red. Okay. I got it lined up with north. And then I'm going to follow my direction arrows. Okay. So, what I do now is I'm going to go back to the tree. I'm going to go back to the tree and I'm going to line up north. Okay, there's north right there. Okay, I got north lined up. Now I got my, my 135 degrees and I'm going to start pacing it off. Start out with the right foot and then left foot. When the left foot passes the right, that's going to be one pace. And I'm going to see how close I am. One, two, 27, 28. All right. Now, that ain't too bad. That's not too bad right there at all. I went, I went in a, a northwest direction, and then I came back a southeast direction, followed my compass, I went 29 meters one way, turned around, traced my reverse bearings, picked out an object, went to it, and I was one pace off. That's not too bad. Okay, now let me show you the next one, next exercise that we're going to do. And I'm going to draw this a little better. That other one was just going at an angle. So I'm going to show you the next one that we're going to do, the next exercise.